fast forward to when you guys uh, get your own place. Right. Let's fast forward to that time. What was that about five, six months later? Yeah, about, yeah. about five, five months five, later. Months, yeah. After about living there, I'm like, all right. So yeah. we established we was going together at this time. It's clear we going on dates. Everything's right. smooth. Um, so I'm like, yeah, now it's time for us to get our own place. And then so we started looking. She's like, I had this place in Addison I always been looking at. All right, let's go there. I don't know about Texas. So, you know, I, you lead, I follow type deal. So, yeah, we found this nice place in Addison. And then from there, everything, like, we both adventurous. So from there, we just started traveling big, like, going multiple states. I'm talking about it's still summertime, and Texas is always hot. So we going down to Houston, Vegas, Miami, California. We just traveling together, and we just, the vibe is just there at this time. We living together. It's about a year. Like you said, about a year couple of months go by and we would renewed our lease at our apartment then re revamped our apartment and then we actually uh yeah you can get into more details on that no we we have yes okay so i i guess y'all trying to figure out like dang like what i'm thinking like he telling the clean version of our story like how we got there like was not like it wasn't all kissy face and bubbles and stuff like that we had a lot of drama like it was a lot of drama and i'm not afraid to say that mostly coming from me because he did what he was supposed to do he came with a clean slate and well not even that i'm not even gonna give him all the credit let me slow down he was just smooth however we had a lot of drama and during those times we would come eye to eye and again, we were friends. So when you know your friend, you know you hurt a friend. Um, you know you hurt, like if you hurt a friend feelings or you made a friend feel uncomfortable. We start f recognizing that and approaching those th th scenarios as friends. So that's how we were able to get over, move into an apartment, move really fast, have fun with other people, put him in a room with people he didn't know, and us be together and sleep together and not physically be together like we were real friends so that played a big deal in everything so going into that it was who birthday was it was it your birthday it was actually your birthday it was so yeah birthday. we was doing a lot of traveling so we actually went to houston for her birthday oh yes yeah, it was her birthday and um so uh, i went to houston and it was just like the vibe was there and I was just like, I'm about to do it. I'm about to propose. So I actually bought the engagement ring in Houston at a jewelry. We went to the mall and I went to the jewelry store and was like, I'm about to engage. I'm about to propose to my girl. This is 2016. This is 2000. He birthday. clearly so knew this about is your, this. This is your. Um, Stop cheating. Stop cheating on the story. This, this, is, your, this is your 22nd birthday? Yes, it was my 22nd birthday. Right. And he, his one of his good friends came out there. Yep. My favorite cousin flew out there. They had this shit planned. They were there. They were there. <laughs> I did tell moment. her favorite cousin. I did for tell this him. this moment. They were there. People was there. I did tell People him. People knew what was going on. So he told me something. We was, no, I do believe that it all happened. Like, like I think they talked about it. And you correct the story because it's your story. Yeah. I feel like they talked about it, but I just wanted y'all to know. It was always that in the air. He like, had it set up, and him and his friend just so happens that day went in the store together and purchased the ring. But his friend knew what right. he was flying to Texas right. for. Right. And I did right. tell her a favorite cousin. So, yeah. And we was down there in Houston at the. Actually, we was in. Uh, we was at that uh, park. What's the name of the? Um, we was at the Galaxy, um, Galveston. Galveston beach. Island, Galveston Island at the theme park. And she like just a backstory. She like Ferris wheels and like Cinderella stories and like those type of romantic things. So I'm like, it's her birthday. We here. I'm about to propose to her in front of the Ferris wheel. So I had to get dressed in a button up. It's 110 degrees. I'm in a button up. So everybody probably looking at me crazy. I'm a cry. But yeah. <laughs> So I waited till we, uh, we we did the whole theme part. Waited till we got to the back to the Ferris wheel. Tell everybody like set up. I'm about to do it. And then sure enough, pulled out the engagement ring and proposed to her in front of like the whole theme part. And everybody. Everybody started clapping. I wasn't expecting that. I was just kind of expecting our little mean. group to kind of catch it on camera. But everybody just got up, started clapping, and so it was just like 
It was like for real, like a movie type of deal. When like, I say for real, the pigeons with the water behind flying you. off the, the thing, the like story. I was like, <gasps> no facts. Oh my yes. God. Like, it like was, on the yeah. beach with the like for real. It was it was nice. A true love story. It wasn't planned like. Like we didn't, we didn't discuss. Like I would say, like you know, this is my husband, but it wasn't like, it wasn't planned. So, cause I think he had to call my daddy that moment to ask him permission. You know how you're supposed to call before. Yeah. yeah. He was yeah. so excited. Yeah. He had to listen. wait. Like I'm like, we can't post this on social media. You gotta make that phone call first. But he. I did have to call her pops. So That's it was. It was all like, we controlled the situation. Well, he controlled the situation, and I just was like. Yes. Okay, so now you guys are engaged. Like, um, at this point, everything that you've maybe ever thought about each other, it's it's starting to become a reality. You guys have a, a real relationship. You have decided that you're going to spend the rest of your lives together. Um, so at this time, are you guys, are you guys entrepreneurs or even thinking about entrepreneurship do you guys have any businesses um or are you even thinking about having children at this time like because once again you guys move fast <laughs> you guys move fast like it, it, it's or it's it's definitely organic i can i can definitely feel it like you guys relationship and everything that you guys have going on as far as like with your family your businesses is it's very organic and well thought out but uh, yeah, you guys, your story is like it all came together like so so quickly. So um, yeah, at the time after the engagement, are you guys uh, thinking about entrepreneurship or or even on that at that time? So you can go first. No, you go. So yeah, um, myself, I was so this is an important time for me as far as my business. Because in 2014, uh, I stopped playing basketball at Siena Heights. Uh, and then after that, I just kind of didn't, didn't love the game as much no more. So when I moved to Texas that first year, basketball wasn't even an option. I didn't even, like I said, we was doing trips and stuff. So I wasn't even trying to play basketball. So my business is a basketball training business. So that's why that's important. Because after about a year or so, I actually reached out and uh, started training for a trainer named Tyler Ralph. Uh, who's actually a big NBA trainer now. He's actually a uh, pretty real known trainer down in Dallas, Texas. And I was just working for him as like a side trainer, helping him out with the kids. And then I was like, you know, it kind of brought me back that love for the game. And I'm like, oh, I can do this. I like. I wanted to always coach and train anyway. So from there, that was 2015. So after a few months of doing that with him, I actually started my own business, which was Murphy Lee Training. And that was just... A uh, small training business. It wasn't really looking to coach or do anything, but I was just more so looking at individual training kids in the area who didn't make the team or didn't have a coach to you know to teach them how to actually grow his skills. So um, that's when I actually started my entrepreneurship. I um, got my business LLC, and um, from there just started finding local kids in the area who was looking to train and just honestly just trying to get them in the gym. Right, right. And this was 2015. Yeah, 2015. So he skipped the gap to that. So he, when he trained with Tyler Ralph, he stopped training because we moved to Michigan because we thought we were going to rebuild a house. Right. And that's when, you know, he felt, you know, he went back to his training and all that. So we was actually in Michigan during that time um, when he started his business. Correct. Right. And, um... I was just working and supporting my husband in his business. Right. And of course, my thing was investing in the house because I'm like, we can get this house going and we can build a gym, we can do all this stuff. So in my head, I was more so speaking, my wheels were spinning, but I wasn't in the process of planning. I wasn't planning anything. 